Melly Cleeky Maka, everyone. We're hoping you have a great holiday season. Today, we are joined by one of the very important faces behind the scenes of everything that's been going on and really helped athletics start up again. And her name is Lynn. So thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. Of course. As our head athletic trainer and all, um, can you give us a little insight of what's been going on and how things have been going um, just to start up athletics and letting these players and staff back on the court and the field? Yeah, it's 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 definitely been kind of crazy, right? Um, but it has been kind of exciting to to be able to help athletics return to allow mm -hmm. student athletes to get back on campus. I, you know, I think it's something they've missed, right? Seeing each other, doing the sport they love. Um, so it's it's been a lot of work as far as, you know, daily screening of the student athletes, um, COVID testing for the teams that are playing, right? So football, basketball. Um, so it's it's a lot, but I, I, I think it's been a rewarding experience um, for our staff. And hopefully the student athletes are, you know, excited to have some sort of normalcy in their lives with their sports. Yeah, and you and your staff have probably the most contact and interaction with these players. So what's some limitations and things that you and your staff have been kind of having to deal with during this time? So everything for us looks different, right? Um, anyone who's been in an athletic training room, you know that this is kind of the place people come before practice, after right. practice. So that's changed a lot, um, you know, with social distancing and that sort of thing. So everything's by appointment now, you know, and the student athletes come in for what they need and they leave. And so our, our interaction, you know, yes, probably more than um, other people in the department, but it, it's not, it's nowhere near what we're used to. And so mm -hmm. we, we do miss that part of it, right? Spending the time um, chit chatting with our student athletes, you know, finding out what's going on in their daily lives. So it's different, but you know, unfortunately it's kind of changes we've had to do to allow sport to go, I guess. Yeah, and it's kind of talking about the players and how they have to schedule all these things. What are some protocols that they have specifically that um, you guys have been helping out with? So the first thing is when they wake up, um, they have to do kind of two parts, right? We all have to do that Lumicite app, but for athletics, we have an additional screening questionnaire that um, they need to do daily before they come to campus. And so that allows us to do a little bit of um, screening before they come. So if they if they're feeling sick or have any symptoms that morning, we reach out to them before they even come to campus. So trying to keep that part out of it. Um, when they and then so then when if they clear that, they'll come to campus. They'll come to the athletic training room, and then we do a temperature screen. Um, and if they clear that, then they will be given like a colored wristband for the day. And that allows them to go into the weight room wow. um, to get their workout in that the coaches know they need to look for that. That allows them to practice. Um, it allows them to go in the Nagatani um, Academic Center um, to see, you know, advisors there. So that's kind of their ticket to be able to access things in lower campus um, as far as masks and stuff. Right. So it's masks pretty much the any time they're not doing activity. So when they come in the athletic training room, it's masks. When they're walking out to practice, they should be masked. Um, the only time they remove it is actual activity. Mm -hmm. um, probably some of the harder things for them is um, we try to limit exposure as much as we can. So while we allow them to play without masks in the weight room, they're still masks all the time. So our, you know, they're not used to that. You're not used to the lifting yeah. weights with masks on, but our kids have done a great job, you know, kind of adapting um, and, you know, following our protocols. And so I think that's what has made us pretty successful with allowing workouts to happen. Yeah, you guys have done clearly a lot and um you've been working with i know david madeline and a couple other people just to get things going so we appreciate you and all your staff has been doing just to make sure that we can be healthy and safe and continue athletics going because we've definitely missed seeing players and coaches out there yeah hopefully someday we'll get a little closer where you know there's fans or student yeah. at, um, students at the game so i guess baby steps right so <laughs> we gotta start with some sport and hopefully progress back to that someday. Mm -hmm, for sure. Well, thank you again so much for taking time to talk with us and just filling us in and letting us know what's kind of been going on behind the scenes to allow everything to happen. I appreciate the chance to be with you too. Thanks. Well, everyone, that was Lynn Nakagawa, our head athletic trainer. I'm Killing Fukushima, and this has been Face to Face. Be sure to catch the Warriors and the Wahine play this weekend on Sunday as well as Monday. And have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and we'll catch you in 2021.